Hey there, boys and girls. Great to be with you again for another winter masterpiece that we want to draw together. I'm going to encourage you to get some paper out. You might need something. Uh, if you have a ruler or a straight edge, you might uh, want to get that out as well. And what I am going to do is tilt the camera down to our drawing surface and we are going to have a really good time creating some gnome art together. That's right, homie, it's a gnome -y. So grab your gear and let's get ready to draw. Boys and girls, these gnomes are a lot of fun to draw. If we begin with the end in mind, here's a quartet of dwarves that I drew. And you can see you can put a lot of great details in them and they look a little complicated when you see all those details. But you'll be amazed at how simple it is to draw just a basic outline of a gnome and then you can just go haywire with your imaginations. Now, what I am going to do here, I have a ruler uh, and I think that it would be nice to draw a very light pencil line down at the edge of your paper. So all your gnomes are kind of sitting on the same line. So just make a little line there with a pencil very lightly. And I'm going to encourage you probably to draw with a pencil as well. Uh, I am going to be using a marker just so it shows up. Now what I am going to do, I am gonna to try to get four dwarves on this paper. Now just so you can see better, I'm drawing with a bigger piece of paper, but as you could see from uh, the example I gave you, this is a normal size piece of paper right there. So you can use any size for that. And what we are going to do, we are going to just put four, remember everything I say uh, that we use for any drawing are lines, circles, and dots, right? So we are going to start out with some circles. Now some of these will be more like a regular circle and some of them will be kind of like a squished circle. Look at this. So I'm going to put one here. This dwarf's gnome is a little shorter. I'm going to put one here. And we're going to make one here. It's usually, it adds interest if you don't make everybody the same height. So look at that. Just four little circles or ovals along the paper. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to make the bottom of their gnome hat. So we're gonna just take a fun line on each side of these circles. And look at this, you can make it go straight out like this. You can make them dip down like these, or look at this one. I've got this one going up and this one going down. How fun is that? And so look at that. They just look like, if you ever have watched uh, Harry Potter, this looks like um, the golden snitch, the little ball that they try to catch in Quidditch. <laughs> so these are the nose. This is the bottoms of our hats and now I am just gonna make some hats look at this just curve the lines up and go to a point now you don't have to follow exactly what I do here if you just bring each side of the hat up you can let it flop look this one's gonna flop over to the side look at that Oop. see that fun line and I'll bring this one over and look at that, it just comes to a little flop. And if you want to, you could put a little tinsel or whatever, like a little yarn ball on the end of these. 
Now this one I'm just gonna bring up a little bit. This almost looks like a wizard's hat, doesn't it? Look at that. So just have a fun time. And look at this floppy little hat. I'm gonna make this one wrap around. Whoop. And I'm gonna bring this up and look at that, around. Now that one's pretty fancy. Don't worry about making something that fancy. You can just make some like this. Practice a little bit, find the ones that are easiest for you and let's do that. Now, what we want to do at this point is we want to decide where our shoes are gonna be. Look at this, I'm gonna make a little, looks like an A without a line in the middle, right? These are the bottom of these guy's shoes. He's got some little elfy shoes here. Look at this guy. He must have borrowed some shoes from one of his elf friends. Now this guy's shoes, they're a little more simple. Look at that. And this guy's shoes are a little flatter. You can make them however you want. And I'm gonna draw another one like before, but this guy's shoes are just gonna come out flat. Look at that, you can make them however you want. You can turn them into slippers, I don't mind at all. Whatever you want to do. Look at that, now the gnomes are famous for their beards, aren't they? So what you can do is just start going down towards your shoes with some zigzaggy lines or puffy lines, whatever you want to do. And back up and look at that, we got a great big beard on this guy. Now, um, on this one, look, I made it kind of puffy. Now this guy's uh, beard is in a little knot. Look at that. That's kind of fun. And this guy, he's got one of those little hand warmers in it. So look at this. I'm going to put that there. See how it's just like a little rectangle. Now remember, as always, going pretty fast. So you guys are just watching this. You might not even be drawing with me at this point. You might just be watching what I'm doing, thinking up some ideas and drawing uh, your own here in a minute. Um, or you can be following along and just pausing as you need to. I put this in your Google Classroom. So shouldn't be any problem. Now I'm going to make a couple lines here like this. There's his elbow and there's just the beginning of his arm. Now you notice I didn't draw the inside of his arm because we're going to have some beard coming over that. Look at that. Yeah. All right. You see that? And then it comes out here right down to the shoes. Oh my goodness. And look at that big beardy gnome. Now this guy, I'm going to make his arms come down like this. See a curvy line and then back like this. Like his hands are in his pockets. Look at that. Now I could wind up making the, his pants or his shirt dark, however I want to do that. Uh, this is where we really can have fun. We can make some textury patterns, whatever you want to do. Now, look at this guy. I'm going to give him, like he's got an ear sticking out. Look at that, like a teacup. And a curvy little mustache coming up to his nose. Look at that guy. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Maybe a little... chin part of his beard here and then I'm just gonna let the rest come right on down practice making that little zigzaggy line it can be more like a cloud like this one just little smiley faces that connect however you want to do it there's no right way just practice drawing these guys they're kind of fun to draw a hat start with the nose a hat Come down and make some shoes. 
and then make him however you want to look his hands up like that like he's listening or waving this guy's arms I'm gonna put it give him some arms coming down like this I think I might make him waving to us like he's got some mittens on there look at that hi guys oh and these are so much fun now you can come in and make all the details you want you can make some patterns you can bring some lines in the beard look at that you can grab a marker color pencil whatever you want to look at that just make all kinds of lines and hey you remember what we call it when we draw something so that it looks like you could feel it when you rub over it with your fingers that's called texture isn't it you remember that so you can make all kinds of fun textures you can give the hat some circles or dots thanks a lot whatever you want to do okay this is not the kind of drawing where you have to follow me step by step you can make up something on your own of course you can make one of these guys having more of a santa hat whatever you want to do you could give them some braids and you can give their beard some ponytails whatever you want to do just have a great time and like i said you can come in and put all these fun textures in there like this guy's got a big puffy beard look at that all right and i will look forward to seeing your nomi creations you can um, put these on artsonia you can uh, trace them with crayon and paint them you can come in and make all kinds of fun textures i used some markers uh, i like the black line so if you have a sharpie or a black marker i think they look a lot of fun like that um have a great time i thoroughly look forward to seeing all the different gnome styles that you guys can come up with so happy drawing and have a wonderful day.